man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. It's Gary, baby. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Y'all, Tiffany Haddish, baby, this girl was called out for throwing shade at Carmen and Jennifer Hudson uh-uh. the other day. But they're saying the fans, honey, say it was just a joke, honey, as the comedian has moved on to a new man. Now, social media users speculate, y'all, that the girl's trip star isn't over her ex-rapper, Carmen. His name is Lonnie Rashad Lynn. After y'all answering a fan's inquiry about a TikTok video. Now, the fan activity, I'm still waiting to see if Carmen gave you the earrings I gave him for you when he came to Charlotte. And Tiffany responded, girl, he ain't never gave me no damn earrings, honey. Probably gave him to um, Jennifer. And, honey, that's when it all went down. So people said she took, they took Tiffany's statement as a joke. Said, honey, she is a comedian, Ricky, by profession. But others felt that her comments were laced with bitterness since she included the unproblematic Jennifer Hudson, y'all. So... One um, commenter said, honey, it's giving upset, y'all, not together. And another agrees, said, you're jealous, honey, without saying you're jealous, Tiffany, honey. The moment a man isn't interested in me, I go on about my business. I don't care how long we've been together, and I definitely don't hate on the next woman, unquote. Mm. So y'all think she's jealous? I mean, she probably, she, she, I don't think, t- well, I don't think she's jealous. just cracking a joke, you know. Yeah, they said she was laughing when she said he probably gave it to Jim. Yeah. You know what? They said he was la- she was laughing when when um she said he probably gave it to Jennifer. Well, she mm. got a whole new boyfriend. Yeah, and he got a whole new girlfriend too. But you know, sometimes we still have a little salt in us. So, but nevertheless, honey, you got a lot of salt still in you. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm trying to drink as much water as I can. We could just Years dilute ago. it. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job, Gary. Thank you, honey. I'm gonna dilute all that salt in a minute. <laughs> dilute it. Yes. Moving on, honey. And other celebrity news. Y'all speaking of salt, baby? That Nick Cannon. Black women all over the country are angry with Nick Cannon. And I talked about that, and I see why. They mean. Now, you remember now, they called him the incredible inseminator. They're saying that Nick Cannon, honey, is feeling the heat from black women's criticism. And it's only increasing, y'all, after this is a sad part. We're going to hurt my heart. He forgot his beautiful daughter, Onyx Ice Cold name, honey, when he was naming off all them 12 children. And yeah. they're saying the baby mama, Miss Lanisha Cole, is living. Now, they're saying that the media mogul seemed like a convincingly capable father of 12 until this week, honey, when his um, when Nick Cannon's um, father, Abraham, honey, adventures got him in trouble due to him forgetting the name of one of his children in an interview. Now, they're saying that the child's mother, Miss Lanisha, she responded to him missing the name of their daughter, Onyx Ice Cold Cannon. Now, they say his only child that is un- ambiguously black on both sides. Oh. Yes. They say, honey, if Nick Cannon, honey, thought black women were upset with him before, they are really on his butt right now. And they are very angry, honey. And, you know, Ricky, how do you forget the only darker-skinned child? You know, I mean, well, I mean, mm. it's a lot of, Mm-mm. I don't know, maybe maybe a bunch of apples in there. He wasn't supposed to say ice cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Get beat shit. up and saying ice, ice, baby. Oh. I don't know. Uh, I don't but know. people are angry. And I found that funny. I mean, that's amazing, though. I mean, you don't. Whole little thing, honey. I feel so bad for Twelve, her. that's a lot of kids to remember. That's oh, a well, lot of kids. Well, just name two of them then. You know, the you ones know, back when your grand when your grandmama call you and your brother's by the wrong name, she well, call yeah. all y'all before she get to yours. Yeah. Call every name before she get to yours. Yeah. Yeah. But so. it's amazing. He forgot, honey. He named all of them except Lil Onyx. So Lil Onyx is the only one that's got two black parents. The rest of them are biracial. That's what you're saying. Uh, or somewhat. They, um, they're not as um, um, of the same color, hue color of, of Onyx. You know, the irony now is she's in a pretty serious relationship with an Asian guy who'd be taking pictures with that baby. Like, that that guy is raising that baby like it's his. Really? I mean, they're in love, and I mean, the race doesn't matter, but it's just the irony of the whole yeah. two-black parent thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I just Oof. feel so bad for her. Ricky. It just really touched my heart because, I mean, poor little Onyx, honey. And then her name, Onyx, which stands for mean black. And you didn't even call her name, but you called all the mother was um, Golden Power, Beautiful, um, Marika and Marak, and just all those names. But he, he couldn't remember Onyx. Well, he's doing his job in uh, keeping the population going, that's for sure. Well, yes, yes. If nothing else. Let's keep poor Nick, honey, and Onyx ice cold in our prayers. <laughs> all right, the color today, honey, is one of my favorite colors in honor of Onyx. My color today, y'all, is Onyx ice. On the high end, you say Onyx Ice, and on the low end, you say Beautiful Black. That's your Kahlua for today. You made sure the baby got the Kahlua today, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank That's you right, that. honey. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Gary with the T. Gary! <laughs>